Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah Perry and I'm back again with another video. I'm really excited about this one because I haven't done a try on haul in so long. And these are my type of videos, okay? I love getting dressed up. I like looking good because when I look good, I feel good. I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I'm going on a cruise. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss that vlog. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. This video won't be too long, but I still want to give a thorough try on haul. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I also want to mention after we try on some outfits i'm going to show you guys some travel essentials that i will be bringing with me on my vacation everything that you guys see will be linked in the description box down below and i will also input the sizes that i got on the screen for reference i am about five foot eight five foot nine weighing in at about 194 pounds let me not even start talking about my fitness journey but i did want to give you guys the you know analytics of my body so when you guys are shopping you guys know what to look for if you guys are kind of similar to my body size so here we go to start off i got this blue bathing suit wow it's all tangled i got this blue bathing suit from amazon i think it is very cute i love the ruffles on the bottom it's a tie you can tie it behind your neck and behind your back so it doesn't have a clamp it also has a little bit of padding which i do like as well very cute and comfortable um so this is a three-piece set it came with a bottom cover-up and i love the details of the butterflies on the cover-up i think it's very cute the sheer it looks nice one thing that i'm one thing that i'm interested in seeing is if it'll stay around my waist while i'm walking around i feel like it does ride up a little bit but it'll still be really cute on the beach and for pictures and to get me from point a to point b and once i'm all once i'm settled where i am on the beach or wherever i am um i'll be able to take off the cover up but i still do i still do think it was a great piece to add to the bathing suit here's what the bottoms look like i don't want to show too much because these are very cheeky but still very cute and i love the color of this bathing suit the baby blue eats on to the next piece you guys know my favorite color is pink so i had to order a hot pink bathing suit this bathing suit is actually from shein i love it the scrunch on the waistline of the bottoms and they also have the same ruffles that you guys saw on the blue bathing suit now this one well i don't even think any of the bathing suits i'm showing you guys will have a lot of support but i can say this one does not have a lot of support when it comes to your friends on your chest because once i put this on girl i feel like my boobs are touching my belly button i could be over exaggerating but i don't know maybe if i tie a little tighter around the neck i can get a little bit of liftage liftage is that a word y'all let me know i don't know we'll see but if you're anything like me it kind of looks weird because my left friend is bigger than my right friend they're not the same size which kind of bothered me in the beginning when i first noticed but now i really don't care but i still think this is a very cute bathing suit and again the back is very cheeky so I can't show you guys what that looks like. I'm not trying to break the YouTube guidelines, you know. On to the third piece. This bathing suit is from Amazon, just like the blue one. And if you guys know me, I am not a big fan of prints, like zebra prints, floral prints, polka dot stripes. Like, I'm a solid color type of girl. So this was definitely new for me. But I'm so glad that I stuck with it. Um, again, this is another three-piece set, so it comes with the cover-up. I really love this cover-up. It's a way softer material than the blue cover-up. Let me show you guys. So the butterfly cover-up is a little bit, I wouldn't say rough, but the texture or the material is definitely different. But this one feels like butter. It's very soft. I feel like this one has a better chance than the butterfly cover-up at staying on my waist when I'm walking around. I just feel like the material on this, oops. I hope I didn't get any lip gloss on this. I just feel like the material on this is way better. It's stretchy. Oh, this one is not stretchy. One wrong move, this may or may not pop. It has a little stretch to it, but not as much as this one. I'm not afraid to pull this one apart. This one, yeah. Um, but 
What I really love about this bathing suit is the color. I love the green and the underwire. You don't even notice that the underwire is there. It's very comfortable and I think it feels good. I look good in it and I'm excited to wear it on somebody's beach. Now this will be the bathing suit that I will be wearing when I do my excursions because I feel like it has a little bit more support. Being that it has shoulder straps rather than tying it around my neck and then the back is a tie. But I feel like if I tie it in the right way, I should be good on the jet skis. So stepping away from the bathing suit portion, I picked out two outfits that I feel would fit for dinner. So first I have this two piece from Pretty Little Thing. I love the tan. I don't know if this is tan beige. I don't know, nude, neutral, whatever you want to call it. I love the shoulder details. This is so cute to me. What? So you can either wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder, but online the model has it on the shoulder. I feel like you have more support with it on the shoulder. Um, obviously not a lot of support for the girls, but I ordered some Pacey's I'm gonna wear when I put this on. There's no padding in this, just straight material. But I still think it's a cute outfit. And the skirt has a slit in the front. So if you wanna have a little leg action, a little pop out, then you can pop out. I'm a tall girl and I feel like this comes down to a pretty good length for me. And it feels good around the waist. There isn't a band, so there's no stretch to it, if you guys were wondering. And both of these items, the top and the bottom, have a zipper. So there's a zipper on the skirt. And there is a skip, skipper. And then there is a zipper on the back of the top. My last dinner outfit, again, is different because it has floral print on it but the model sold it for me i thought it was really cute and something different for my wardrobe something out of my comfort zone for sure the yellow and the green it just eats it just screams vacay now it is kind of short one wrong move and i feel like i'm done for but i still think it's really cute it has the back out the top doesn't have any padding for your uh, twins. However, I feel like if you wear some Pacey's, you should be fine. But if you're more of a support girl when it comes to your twins, then I wouldn't recommend this fit. All right, y'all. We are stepping into the next section of this haul. Now I'm going to get into some essentials that I feel like would be great to bring onto vacation. Starting off with... Starting off with this fan. It's small. It's compact. I wish it folds, but... Honestly, this will do. I feel like it can fit in the bag that I'm going to show you guys. It has different speeds. This fan, I already know, is going to come in clutch. And it also came with a little stand. So if I'm sitting, having lunch, or outside, I can just pop it up on something. And it'll be able to just blow some cold air on me in the sun. It comes with a charger, USB. So I'm going to be bringing my... I guess I can show that to you guys too. I'm going to be bringing this because it has USB chargers and I know on cruise ships they don't have like a lot of plugs. I'm not even sure if they have USB ports so this is going to come in handy for my drone, my GoPro, all my devices that need to be charged. So I guess we can add this to the list. This wasn't on the list. I feel like this would be a great travel essential if you are planning on traveling just because there's so many ports and you won't have to fight with others on who can, you know, plug their phone up. Next, I have a waterproof phone touch screen case. It's sensitive touch, adjustable strap, wide compatibility, and IPX8 certification. I ordered these off of Amazon. Again, everything that you guys see in this video will be linked in my description box. I have a pink and a black waterproof phone case. They recommend doing a waterproof test. I've used these before and they work pretty good. They have different pairs so you can get black and black pink and pink pink and black i think they have some other colors as well but that's all that comes to the top of my mind and it also came with some lanyards next are these pasties i've talked about them before you can get them from pretty little thing that's where i got mine from or you can order yours from off of amazon i know the last time i ordered them from off of amazon i got them for a very affordable price and more than one pair came in the pack this from Pretty Little Thing only came with one pair, which 
kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Perfect for those tops that don't have padding and you want to cover up your nips. This is a cruise essential. If you are trying to get alcoholic beverages on board, I'm not telling you to do this. You probably shouldn't do this. Don't listen to me. I ordered these from off of Amazon. I don't know if you guys know this and I don't know if I said this already, but this will be my first cruise and I am not buying that drink package, okay? I ordered a few of these where I will use the funnel that came with this pack and pour some drinks in here. Another great Amazon find is this little Fanny pack pouch, waterproof pouch. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So essentially it's supposed to be waterproof. I got it so I don't have to carry a bag. Like I can put my phone in here, my credit card, debit card, whatever have you. Anything that I want that can fit in here, like lip gloss, whatever, will go in this bag. It has three zip locks. So the first one, the second one, the third one. And I guess that's for extra security to make sure that your stuff does not get wet. So you just put everything in here. Once you have that zipped up, you uh, fold it, you fold it in like that, and then you bring this over and fold that down. Now all your stuff is protected from the water or should be protected. I would be very careful not to poke a hole in here because you just don't want anything to seep in and your stuff be ruined. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys that I think is another great essential for traveling is this jewelry holder slash organizer for traveling. This is gonna come in clutch, so none of my stuff should get tangled. I have, there's three hooks up here where I can put three necklaces, and then when it hangs, it'll just fall into this little pouch right here and then here i'll put some earrings and then some rings can go here but i don't really have any rings so i'll probably put some earrings here as well and it's small it doesn't take up too much space and it'll keep my stuff protected that's the end of this haul slash travel essentials video thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you haven't already check out my prepare with me for a vacation with me and i don't know if my cruise vlog is up by the time you guys see this but if it is i'll link it down in the description box below make sure you guys watch that as well and if you made it this far you might as well subscribe if you haven't already love you guys thank you guys so much for supporting me and i'll see you guys in my next video